Welcome to Teacher Reads, a book. Today we're going to be reading Earrings by Judith Vorst, illustrated by Nola Langner Malone. You may remember that Judith Vorst also wrote Alexander in the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Check it out. Earrings. I want them. I need them. I love them. I've got to have them. My mom and dad won't let me have them. Earrings. Beautiful earrings for pierced ears. Teachers and lady dentists have them. Mothers and even grandmothers have them. Why won't my mom and my dad let me have pierced ears? They say I'm too young. I'm not too young. I'm actually very mature for my age. I clear the plates after dinner. I take a shower without even being told. They say I need to be patient. I've tried being patient. I'm tired of being patient. I want my ears pierced now. Not when I'm 20, 40, 80 hundred years old. I want them. I need them. I love them. Beautiful earrings. Glorious earrings. My mom and my dad say, wait a couple of years. I tell them I'm the only girl in my class, in my school, in the world, in the solar system, whose mom and dad won't let her have pierced ears. At your age, they say, pierced ears are premature. I hate premature. At your age, they say, pierced ears are inappropriate. I really hate inappropriate. At your age, they say, pierced ears look a little tacky. I can't believe I've got such old-fashioned parents. I want them. I need them. I love them. Beautiful earrings. Glorious earrings. My mom and my dad keep saying weird things like, why? Because they make me look good. Because they make me feel good. And because, furthermore, I'd be so proud of wearing them. I'd stand up straight and hold my head up high which means that they would also be good for my posture. And I hear that they keep your earlobes warm in the winter. My mom and my dad ask, what do you want for your birthday? I tell them what I want for my birthday, pierced ears. My mom and my dad ask, what do you want for Christmas? I tell them I only want pierced ears. My parents went to Tahiti and all they brought me back was this t-shirt. And what do you think I say when they ask me, what should we bring you back from our vacation? I say earrings, beautiful earrings, glorious earrings, beautiful, glorious earrings for pierced ears. Instead of earrings, they say, we could get you a locket. I don't want a locket. Instead of earrings, they say, We could get you a charm bracelet. I really don't want a charm bracelet. As a substitute for earrings, they say, we brought you back this, they don't understand. There isn't any substitute for earrings. I want them, I need them, I love them. Beautiful earrings, glorious earrings. I argue and beg, and sometimes there's yelling and tears. I tell my mom and my dad all the things I would do, if only, if only, if only, if only, if only they would let me have pierced ears. Like walk our dog every day for a whole year. 
like clean up my room every day for a whole year. Like read a book once a week for a whole year. Like be nice to my little brother for a whole year. Well, maybe six months. And I wouldn't ask for new clothes because I could wear the same old clothes and just change my earrings. I want them. I need them. I love them. I keep telling my mom and my dad I've got to have them. My mom and my dad say they're tired of hearing this stuff. But I promise, I promise, I promise, I cross my heart promise that they'll never hear it again the minute they decide I'm old enough. Four earrings, beautiful earrings, glorious earrings, beautiful, glorious earrings for pierced ears.